Hello, this is a new Zella tutorial with TMS Gen. This is number three in a series. This is after the teacher has already assigned an article on new Zella. The student has accessed the article and done some work, and now the teacher wants to see the results. So let's go back over to newzella.com. This is where the teacher has logged in already. This is my pro trial. I'm trying it out to see uh, what I think, and so far I love it. I would go to the binder here to assess my students' progress. So first let me just see my classes here. You can see that I've set up a number of classes, but to preserve my students' anonymity, let me go to my New Zella practice class here and my sample student of first name. Uh, I can also go over here and click this and see a little bit more information there. And I can see individual students' progress if I wish. I can also see this nice chart. So it shows me my levels, level 1, 2, and 3, and 4. And you can see, obviously, that I need more data. So we need eight quizzes for these students to determine their progress. So I would get my student code. I would have the students sign in using my class code. And they would all be assigned to a certain class based on the code that I give them to use when they sign up. And this is where my roster would appear. And as you can see, for this purpose, I only have one student. So we can sort of see how the site works. Once I get a lot of data in here, I'll get a trend and I'll see a chart here that will go in and show my, my graph of, of details here. You can see that first name has been in a few different articles and this one they viewed and this one they actually submitted a work sample so let me click on that one and see what it looks like. This is the Galaxy article that the first name read and you can see right here this is the writing prompt and all I put in there when I was doing the example was write your response here but this is what first name would have written down here I would read it and then I can score the student's response right here and I can leave some comments for the student to read for that meaningful authentic feedback when the child logs in the next time. I think that's quite useful. I can also see if the child has taken the quiz. I can see the quiz results here as well. And I can start to get a clue for what they were doing when they were working as well because I can scroll down and look at their annotations. So I can see that they highlighted according to the colors that I directed them to use green for interesting information and they have added some notes on the right side like I told them to and they have highlighted in blue a question that they have and they've written the question over here but as I look through I might see that this student really didn't annotate very much so I would direct this student perhaps to go back for full understanding of the article and annotate more fully using the instructions that I've given them so that's a very quick tutorial on how the student can access an article and use it, and how you as the teacher can go in and view the results.